Hello, darlings. Ooh, look. Happy 2024, everyone. And, um, yeah. Look, we've got a new new camera here. Look. Ooh, look. I mean, 60 frames a second, apparently. Whether or not this hinders things in a bit, I don't know. But, uh, yes. Sorry, I ha this has been the first video I've done for a while because I've been quite ill, really. But um, here we are. We've got me... Got me Pepsi Max. And yeah, so this video is not really about old TVs. Well, it is and it isn't really, but um, yeah, basically, we are fucked. <laughs> Don't know if you've noticed, but yeah, we are completely and totally fucked as a species, as a nation, as a world thing, whatever. Yeah. So say if we've got, what, Donald Trump wanting to turn the US into a dictatorship, which he's quite happily admitted to, and lots of people are going, oh, wow, yay, Trump, go, and things. Um, I mean, what's happening in the UK? God knows, really. Um, yeah, we've got two wars. We've got the uh, Russian-Ukraine war. We've got uh, Israel and Palace Palestine. And as well, we've got obviously all the environmental issues that are going on, and yeah, things ain't looking good as a, you know, as a as a species for us. <coughs> as virus is going around again. <coughs> Excuse me, that was not scripted, by the way. <laughs> to be fair, nothing is scripted on here, but uh, I just uh, waffle a bit and uh, just just cut together the interesting bits. Anyway. So yeah, what am I uh, talking about then? Um, I'm talking about this thing, Meshtastic, which you may or may not have already be aware of. Um, yeah, it's like uh, if you're unfamiliar with this, uh, there's a, a video. There's a few videos actually done by a, a chap called uh, Andy Kirby. Um, I thoroughly recommend his channel anyway because it is just full of. If you like old um, radio stuff and things, or, or like indeed new radio stuff or amateur radio stuff, you know, it's a good channel to look at anyway. But, uh, pardon me, Whoa. this Pepsi Max is gassy. So, yeah, but the main thing is this mesh, this mesh-tastic thing. And, uh, yeah, th what this um, is, it's um, what's known as a LoRa, a, a long-range um, communication device or a messaging service, really. And the, so what? You know, we've got text messages. We've got, you know, emails, for example. Well, this is the thing. You see, this is off-grid, you see. So um, you can see I've got this uh, aerial. These um, these do actually come with a, with their own tiny aerial, and they are terrible. But uh, I've added this aerial, and it uh, makes it... Thing. I've actually got another one connected to the uh, old TV aerial on the roof, which I'll probably go into a bit later, or I might not if I forget. But, yeah, so this is off-grid, so... If somebody else has one of these, instead of going through the mobile phone network or, you know, a Wi-Fi network or anything like that, it basically goes directly to them. And the range on these is pretty damn amazing. Um, but uh, now communicating, obviously, you know, this, this is a tiny screen here and, you know, you can't really sort of uh, use the messages. So the standard way of doing this is to um, have a mesh-tastic onto your mobile phone. Now, this phone here is, um, I don't know if you can see, yeah, probably not actually, has no signal. Uh, it is showing a bit of a signal, but it's got no SIM card in whatsoever. In fact, you can see it's sort of in, in bits, really. Um, but that got me thinking. It's like, so imagine, you know, you're in a, a post-apocalyptic situation and you'd like to send a message to uh, to this mesh or this grid. Um, um, and uh, basically all you can find is a broken phone with, with maybe it's a broken screen, perhaps. And I thought, well, wouldn't it be nice if we could, uh, you know, in the spirit of how this channel works now, if we could do, um, do this with a, a CRT screen. And uh, I thought, there's got to be a way, surely. Um, and there's a couple of ways, actually. But I, I think the best thing is this little device here, which is an HDMI converter. Um, so that plugs into phones. So the, the, and a, a USB-C connector, which then plugs into uh, this, which, well, plugs into this thing. 
which then would go into your HDMI. However, we don't do HDMI on this channel, do we? Well, a little bit maybe with uh, the other things, but yeah. So what I've uh, gone through then is this HDMI to composite video setup. So, haha, you see. So imagine the uh, screen itself was actually shattered as well. So you couldn't, you could maybe use it for a little bit or see a couple of things, but um, yeah. So, so what I've done is I've taken this uh, phone, which is actually connected to the uh, to the node, as as we've got here, and whoop, let's just knock everything on the floor here. And I've actually connected it. So through that, through this connector, this uh, HDMI to uh, composite, and through to this uh, video monitor to the uh, composite. So let's have a look and see if we can get that's through here. Do do. I might. I might need to um, adjust the uh, frame rate here. Hang on. One moment. And there we go. Uh, apologies for the uh, low light there. It's the only way I can get the uh, this camera to uh, sync with the frame rate of a CRT. But uh, yeah, as you can see, and uh, we've even got a little mouse there, so, um, so we can actually scroll through. And uh, see what you've got. So yeah, so Blythe Electricity Mobile is what the uh, thing is. But you can see we've we've got other nodes popping up already here. So yeah, Mesh Tastic. It's um, it's an interesting uh, system. Yeah. So the idea is not only will it uh, pair with the uh, other with a different node, but it'll actually uh, other nodes. Um, it can hop between the two and uh, use those as repeaters and. Uh, like sort of um if there's one that's uh, sort of, if there's a node between you and the one you want to set to it'll hop between that between your node the one in the middle and the one you're trying to send the message to so uh, yeah i think this phone's uh struggling a little bit here yeah, you can see it uh it seems to be disconnecting all the time let's uh, let's just try see if we can swap so i'm just going to send a message to uh this and we'll see if it uh, sends there you go. You can see I've sent a me the. Uh, oh, there you go. You can see that's uh, that's gone through to the uh, main node I've got connected to the TV aerial. Because so, yes, this is a thing about these nodes. You see what I discovered because these uh, these nodes operate on eight hundred and sixty eight uh, megahertz, which is kind of like the top end for a TV aerial. So yeah, this is the other thing. These nodes actually come with this really terrible, or at least mine did, anyway, came with this really terrible um, antenna. Um, you can see it's, cause it's got this tiny uh, connector. I forget what they're called, actually. But, because um, I noticed the range on these was really poor. It was like literally just like about half a street away and there was like nothing. So uh, I took this apart and um, really found there wasn't much in at all. Then I got the idea to solder a bit of um, TV aerial cable to it. Um, let's see if I've got some actually. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. So like the uh, your standard uh, TV aerial coax cable, I ended up soldering some like a connector to this, and I thought, well, let's try it and see if I can plug the. Um, let's switch this off actually. If I can plug the uh, TV aerial, and I've got to say, the range is absolutely amazing. Um, the most I've managed to pick up so far is something like, what was it, 35.1 miles away? I mean, that's probably saying more, that's probably more to do with the um, the person's antenna, th their antenna rather than uh, this antenna. But just goes to show you, because uh, 860, I think, was like the maximum, or at least for the area, because we were uh, Pontop Pike. For, for at least for the analog uh, TV uh, um, aerials, anyway. So yeah, um, it was something like um, yeah, eight hundred and sixty was like the maximum. So eight hundred and sixty, it's just within the uh, range of uh, of these, at least the UK nodes, anyway. So yeah, I've, and it's been pretty amazing. <laughs> To be honest, but uh, yeah. So um, yeah. So sorry, this is this hasn't really been much of a, a sort of a, a video on um, 
on TVs as such. Well, I mean, you know, you've got that thing. I've mentioned TV aerials. What more do you want, really? But, uh, yeah, sorry, I've been really recovering from probably the worst um, flu, cold, whatever the hell it was I had. I got it just before Christmas and, um, and just before New Year. So there we are.